What is up, scent head, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and this is also fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a Freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love, and I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you love the content. Also, I definitely would think about subscribing and hit me real decent down on my belt and give it a good wallop. Boom. That lets you know when I'm uploading new fire, because who knows, it could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today is said fire. I already did the Poseidon's Casino Cologne, one of those ones that came out. The limited little run that struck quick, sold out very fast. Everybody loved them. People asked for that one. The other one that came out is definitely this one. You already know. It's going in your brain. It's a banger of a fragrance, and it's a tribrid. And by saying that, you guys already know. You requested it. Poseidon's Casino Supernova. Yeah, we got that tribrid three piece. That's five. Three piece and a biscuit. This thing is a cross between Creed Aventus, Superstar. Elysium from Roja Parfums, the Superstar, and Mason Francis Kirk Jones, Baccarat Rue 540 X Straight, Superstar. So imagine those three. We've already had a Poseidon Supernova. We already have a Casino Elixir. We already have a Supernova in the Casino. Why not do all three together? Because three can't be bad, right? Or can it? Let's get into why everybody came here and get to the scent breakdown. All right. Got my Poseidon's Casino a Supernova. And of course, I got my handy dandy fresh strip. And we're gonna put this baby to work. Get to work, baby. Two, cause it's that good. I was told by a bunch of people making fun of how I sniffed this stuff and uh, I can't help it. I'm still gonna do it the same way. Like a fine cigar. I do get enthralled with it, but it, it's just the way I do things. It opens up, surprisingly enough, the grapefruit note from the Elysium, AKA the Supernova pushes through really well. And that pineapple, juicy and tart, is trailing right behind it. It is so good. There is just the, the faint, faint, faint of the Baccarat Rue 540 or the Casino behind it, but it's just ever so delicate. But right up front is the citrus. It pops through very well. It is such a sexy, sexy fragrance off of the bat. I already was in love with Poseidon Supernova. That had the little bit of a musk that some people didn't like. I think it's amazing, especially in the summer. It's in my summer list if you haven't seen it. I'm still in where I'm dressed like the Hulk, but it is amazing. This one, dare I say even better? I wanna say this up front too, before I get all the way into the breakdown of it. This one is a close contender to be better or on par with Poseidon's Casino Cologne. It is awesome, especially when you get to the dry down. Things change a little bit because that Supernova plays and adds some notes that the Poseidon's Casino Cologne doesn't have. So it's gonna be very, very hard for me to pick between these three. I may have to do a Casino Elixir, Poseidon's Casino Cologne, and a Poseidon's Casino Supernova. As we get towards the mid, that very bright, sharp opening tones down just a little bit. That good, strong casino backbone is coming in there and helping keep the sharpness down. The fruits are still alive and popping. Some vanilla is coming through. Ah, that lovely amber, that almondy note is already starting to make its way in here. It is a very, very good fragrance. I just have to say, just like the other Poseidon's Casino Cologne, it is very hard for anyone to dislike this fragrance. It smells great. It's fresh. It lasts a long time. I don't know who could really hate on this. If anyone is selling this, their nose is broken. They've been literally sniffing battery acid because this 
is a mass pleasing sip. You get the best of both worlds. For those that don't want super, super citrus, that casino helps knock it down. For those that don't really love that super sweet, the citrus balance knocks it down. Everybody likes Creed Aventus. Even if you're tired of Creed Aventus, this completely throws that realm out because it is so well blended that you can't just distinguish, oh, this is a Creed Aventus, or this is a Roger Elysium, or this is a Baccarat Rouge. It is so unique. And that's the beauty of tribrids and being with Dua because they're doing weird ish like this. Yesterday I said, Houston, we have a problem. Again, we got a big problem here. This one, I don't know, folks. I'm going to have to do some more in-depth testing, but this one, this one's going to be in contention for that belt. I might have to do a three-way uh, Royal Rumble, if you will, and let them get each other in headlocks and see who comes out victorious because this is good. But we're going to get to the dry down. I have some here I sprayed a long time ago. It's my scent of the day, of course, if you follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. I'm always putting up what my scents of the day are. This has been here for a long time. Gorgeous vanilla. You got that lovely almond, that strong casino, which we already expect it to be a strong part in the back of the fragrance towards the bottom. That's what keeps this thing longer lasting, in my opinion. The freshness is still there. The citruses are still popping at you, the pineapple and all of that, but the casino just helps it. And as I've said before, that casino DNA does something to these fragrances. So when you add that to the notes of, say, the Poseidon's Elixir, it just twists it. It makes it just something completely different. So when you have two completely different, those two feed off of each other, if you will, and help that citrus fire burn large. And then that casino is like, hey, 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 I'm here. I'm manipulating this fire. So he's the firebender, if you will. And it's making this into an awesome fragrance. It is very sexy. The, uh, the smoke note, if you will, for fans that don't love that huge smoky note, this thing stays relatively very fresh, very smooth is another thing. So some people with Supernova can complain that the Supernova is very harsh. They're not a fan of a bright pop of grapefruit, which I love, but this just helps mold. Everything is kept in check. It's like three little superstars and they all come together. You guys have all seen that little graph and it comes together and they're one big nucleus and they work in harmony. So these all can work by themselves as stars, but you just put all three together and they become a fantastic team. Now, one of the biggest differences that I got, at least when I test this versus Poseidon's Casino Cologne, is longevity for me was about one hour better with this Poseidon's Casino Supernova than Poseidon's Casino Cologne. Now, they're both very new, so it's definitely unfair to say this one lasts longer than this one, but in my initial open testing, just being honest, I love both scents. I'm going to have both of them. I can't pick right now because I need to get more in depth, but I got about seven to eight with Poseidon's Casino Cologne. I got about eight and a half to nine with Poseidon's Casino Supernova, so that's on me. I'll leave it up to you guys. The scent is what matters to most people. And the scents are both phenomenal with the edge for super fresh going to the new PCC, if you will, the Poseidon's Casino Cologne and the more uh, unique, if you will, going to Poseidon's Casino Supernova, even though there is nothing never been like Poseidon's Casino Cologne. So they both need to be bought. And I hate doing that. If you can purchase it, if you have the means to have both and the Casino Elixir, those three are the holy trinity, I'm going to call them. You have to have those. All the others, the Poseidon Supernovas, Supernova and the Casino, they're all excellent fragrances. And if you have the ability to have that in your collection, definitely do so. But in my opinion, as of right now, this date, March 18th, when I'm filming this, Casino Elixir, Poseidon's Casino Cologne, Poseidon's Casino Supernova, are the three. Now that is not the order, so don't go jump into conclusions. I'm gonna do a three-way battle. It was gonna do us a head-to-head. -head. I can't. It's gotta be a three-way tag team match, just an all-out Rumble Royal, because this one is that good. I'm just telling you. For people that already have it, because as I said, I got mine a little bit late, so I was a little bit late to the jump. 
You guys already know. People have messaged, this is better, this is better. And it's going to be that way because that's what happens when you have great fragrances like this or like Poseidon's Casino Cologne or the God himself, Casino Elixir. You have people saying, this is better, that. They're all awesome. I'm going to do a trio, battle them out, put them, and unfortunately, two must die. But that's going to be a little bit later. I have the Fierce coming up, which is the Abercrombie and Fitch. I have the Rendezvous, which is the Yves Saint Laurent's Loam coming, the Vintage. I got all those bangers, the Aqua de Joe Ascensas coming. Those are all going to be banging out. And then I also have one that's highly requested coming out that's going to be a secret. But let's just say if we're all quarantined and you have the Netflix, something happens after you Netflix. But that's just a little teaser. I love you guys so much. I'm going to wrap this thing up so you can get back to your lives. But I appreciate you guys being here. And until I come to you again with another wonderful banger like this, be blessed. Stay fresh. We got to